This seven foot popper with max wingspan grabs every rebound with a legend rebound chaser, but it also hits crazy shots like this, fading from the top of the key. This build can also post score. Even though it's a popper, this build can get busy in the post. Not to mention, this build has a 99 interior defense, 93 pass for the breaks. This build can also do stuff like this. Front fade on the break. I haven't seen no other center builds that really play like this. And I'm still snagging over the whole team, dotting up my teammates, you guys. This is the best center build in NBA 2K25. As you guys can see, I'm still shooting knockdown. I will give you guys my jump shot, all my animations, everything in this video as I'm pulling from Limitless. Cash. But look, here's the verse of the video. This is Matthew 5, verses 10 through 12. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You guys know the red words, that's what Jesus Christ himself said, you guys. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you in Jesus Christ's name, you guys. The world hated him first. So if you get hated for being a Christian, if you get hated for your faith, you guys, it is what it is, man. Be joyful. Be glad because they hated Jesus too. You know what I'm saying? But look, here's the build, the playmaking defensive anchor. You guys can see I'm already a gold plate. This is a rebirth build. I really like how rebirth, I can automatically go to 99 now. Um, so I started that off rip. You guys see that legend rebound chaser. Here's the badges, man. Here's all my animations. I know a lot of y'all are going to ask me what animations am I rocking. Here's all the best animations, all the best post animations, everything, you guys. I got y'all. I will do my um, jump shot later on in the video during the shooting portion, man. So make sure you guys watch the full video. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all, all that. Here's the finishing. Nothing too crazy, 65 driving, 75 standing, 76 close shot, you guys. The thing about this build and the finishing, I wanted to be able to finish well enough. And everything is, is for a badge point, okay? I get everything on bronze. Bronze post fade, bronze post powerhouse, bronze post up poet. You get, um, I don't know if you get bronze rise up on this center, but it's got enough finishing to be effective in the paint when I'm wide open. It's got enough post control to be able to cook up in the post and create shots in the post this is not a inside center it's not a masher center you know what i'm saying this is really a, a playmaking defensive anchor it was in the name this center is really to get stops to grab rebounds you know what i'm saying to throw breaks it can shoot it can dunk it can post up if it needs to if i need to score i can take them off the dribble you know what i'm saying if i need to score i can score on this build but that's the thing about running a center I think a lot of people don't understand as the center, it's not your job to score as I'm off on the break, man. 80 mid-range, 74 three-point. That's a maximum shooting that we can get on a max wingspan popper. Like I said, seven foot with max wingspan. That's more so for the rebounds, more so for uh, playing defense, grabbing boards. But the maximum shooting, we still get bronze dead eye and silver set shot specialist. So this build can shoot well enough. It can shoot well enough, y'all. And that's what I wanted to mention about being a center. A lot of people think, like, as a center, it's hard to shoot. So that's why I'm giving away my jump shot. My, my jump shot has been chicken on this center build. I didn't even clip all the clips just because, like, a wide open catch and shoot corner three. How really entertaining is that, y'all? But I'm shooting just fine on my center. I got y'all with the jump shot. But if you're struggling to shoot as a center, here's what you need to do impact the game some other way like that last play even though maybe i'm struggling to shoot that's when you take them to the post get a mid-range okay as i'm shooting the front fade on the fast break i haven't seen no other center pull no shot like that y'all whether they have low wingspan or not but here's the advantage of having that high wingspan being able to horse over anybody being able to horse over people y'all plus that max wingspan it allows you to shoot shots that it's always going to stay open this year in 2K25, the contest system is really broken. But, you know, if I was a little shorter, a little smaller wingspan, some of those opens might go into a light pressure, might go into a yellow contest, okay? So having that high wingspan, it does help you shoot. It helps you shoot over people. It drops your ratings a little bit. But as a center, you all, it's not your job to score. As the center, I'm not supposed to be shooting 10, 15 shots a game. But I can when I need to. That's the whole philosophy of this build. I can score when I need to. 
as as a center sometimes you need to score but honestly it's not your job to score okay it's my job to play defense to start breaks but here's the jump shot for you guys Jonathan Isaac base LaMarcus Aldridge and Kevin Garnett um, blend 52 48 y'all in my opinion this is the best big man jump shot i'm cash with only a 74 3 y'all the reason i went kg and the marcus aldridge is because he gives you that a plus release height so that's how i'll be shooting over people shooting pockets man but for the playmaking 93 pass act 93 pass act you guys hall of fame break starter is crucial this year the lanes this year are insane passing steals are insane make sure you go high pass on your center I went 40 speed with ball just so I could move a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get a little shifty, a little jiggy. But if you're a center, make sure you go high pass this year. Honestly, I think 87 is too low. As a center, I wouldn't go anywhere under 93. Maybe go less if you're going to use your cap breakers. You can go 89, use a cap breaker, you know what I'm saying? But 93 pass act for the Hall of Fame break starter is crucial this year. It's absolutely crucial. And for certain people, like if you play on a team, if you got good people, you see I'm snagging over everybody, still throwing dots, y'all. That's the benefit of being long wingspan, being able to just horse up all types of rebounds, kick out easy threes for my team, y'all. That's easy threes for my team. Um, but what was I saying about the playmaking? 40 speed with ball, that lets me cook up a little bit. 93 pass act for that half break starter. But like I was saying earlier, y'all, maybe you would even want to go higher like shout out my boy kj he has a seven foot three center with a 98 pass accuracy and that gives him a legend break starter and i'm telling you as a guard as somebody who experiences those breaks hall of fame versus legend there is a difference this year i'm gonna tell you this these were all clips just rebirth i played a couple of games in the rack with my boy boogie most of these clips were with randoms. I think I didn't play with the full squad on, on this center build yet. So a lot of these clips are just with randoms and with my boy Boogie. But if you have a full team, having that 98 pass accuracy legend break starter makes such a huge difference as a center, y'all. It makes such a huge difference. As a center, it's not my job, like I said, to shoot 10, 15 shots a game, get 20, 30 points a game, y'all. But what I am going to do every single game on this build, horse up grab 20 to 30 rebounds and i'm gonna start about 20 to 30 breaks you guys see the bounce pass break starter make sure you guys go to your controller settings and change um icon pass settings to pass type control pass type control if you want to throw bounce pass icons make sure there's a controller setting make sure you guys change that setting in my opinion any any build you want to change that setting but especially as a center when you can understand when and where to throw these bounce pass outlets it'll really open up a lot of plays for your team because sometimes the regular pass is there but sometimes the bounce pass is there and the regular pass isn't this would have been so crazy watch this the rondo layup i don't know how he missed that that would have been so tough y'all but make sure you can pass as a center y'all you guys see who's the best center in the nba right now nikola Jokic. and what does he do he passes okay but make sure you guys can pass as a center and also, the most important thing as a center, in my opinion, is the defense. And that's why on this build, I went 96 O-board, 99 interior, you guys, once I get the cap breaker. I'm going to show you guys the full build after, after these clips right here. The video was just getting kind of long, so I figured I'd go ahead and throw the defense and the playmaking highlights together. But with that maximum interior defense, it lets me get contests like that. I slowed that down so y'all could see my hands were down and i'm still getting light pressure okay if i jump up i'm getting a tight pressure red coverage in the paint you guys that's why i went 99 interior defense on this build that's my first cap breaker i'm going to be using it to go from 94 to 99 because you guys see i'm getting red contests in the paint this year this year you guys the defense the paint defense is atrocious it's horrible like I said earlier, my boy KJ, that 7-3 with that 99 pass, well, he also has a 99 block, Legend Paint Patroller. And I'm telling y'all, I've seen the block animations. I've seen it, y'all. In my opinion, this year, the blocks are really fluky. The paint defense is really fluky. I say that as I run down the court and get another block right there. That's the advantage of being 7-foot. That's the advantage of being faster, having that high vertical, being able to chase people down. But like I was saying, y'all, 
the blocks this year, even if you have a 99 block, sometimes it's just not going to go your way. So in my opinion, what I'd rather do is I did the opposite. Instead of going high block, low interior, which is what a lot of players go, and that was the wave last year. I'm not going to lie. Last year I had a center where a lot of center builds are going like bronze or silver anchor, 65, 75 interior defense, and that, that worked all last year. That was cool last year, but this year in 2K25, the way paint defense is, as you see, I get that snatch block. I'm telling you guys, defense is more about positioning, okay? And the block rating, it matters, but it's not a bailout anymore. Like, you're not just going to get every block just because you have a hot block. So my philosophy was I'd rather have interior defense. I went 99 interior defense because the blocks and the paint is crazy. But if I'm able to get that contest, if I have that 99 interior defense, legend, post move, lockdown, y'all. I played against a post four, and what happened, oftentimes what happens on this build is people will try me a couple times in the paint, and then once they get shut down, they'll resort to other stuff. So like the post score, he tried to back me down a little bit, but then the stuff like this, once you get shut down like that, eventually he just started passing the ball. When you can't go up, a lot of centers this year are making high close shot. High close shot is the meta this year. That's cool because I have a 99 interior. I may not block it, okay, but I'm playing defense. Defense isn't always about blocking the shot. It's not always about getting the highlight, getting the snatch block. Like, that was a perfect example. He knows he can't go up. I know he's not going to go up. So that allows me to bait that passing lane. Like, it's little stuff like that. It's real IQ stuff. That's what a center is supposed to be doing, y'all. Yes, I can shoot from the corner. Yes, I'm chicken all over the court, money ball waft. Yes, I can do all that type of stuff. I can score all that. But a center is about playing defense. It's about getting the board. It's about protecting the paint. That's what a center is supposed to do, man. And that's what I do on this build at the highest level. I use the horse takeover, and it boosts my rebounding. It boosts my um, vertical up by eight. So both my offense and D-board go up by 8, and my vertical goes up by 8. And vertical makes a huge difference this year, y'all. Vertical's always made a difference in terms of, like, rebounding and blocking shots. But if you're a center, make sure you have a higher vertical because it really allows you to get up and snag some crazy animations this year. Crazy animations. I did go 70 steals, so maximum steal on this build, max wingspan, max steal. It allows me to play the lanes. This year, the lanes are so insane. The defense is so ridiculous. Look at this random pass up that dot. The lanes are so insane, y'all. Make sure you have, at the bare minimum, bronze interceptor. But I went max steal just so I could get even crazier contests, y'all. But look, here's the full build. Here's all the defense like I was just explaining. 94 interior defense, but I am going to use my cat breakers in order to go 99 interior. And I'm going to put my, my last set of cat breakers on my strength. So that you guys can see it, you need a 99 interior, 97 strength in order to get post move lockdown on legend. But eventually, with all 15 of my cat breakers, I will use them on interior and strength so I can get 99 interior, 97 strength. So that way I can get legend post move lockdown and nobody can score on this build in the paint. Nobody can score on this build in the paint, man. That's the purpose of a center. You guys see, like I said, maximum steal. You could drop it a little bit, you know, if you wanted to just go 60 steal, 65 steal for that glove. But nah, me personally, I'm going maximum steal in this game. The steal is crazy. 96 O board. That le that lets you get that Hall of Fame rebound chaser. I use my my max plus one to get legend rebound chaser. You guys saw in the intro. This build is an absolute horse. People were kind of scared about that D-board, only an 81 D-board, y'all. It's not too low, y'all. I horse even with an 80 D-board. If you're really that worried about it, you could drop the O-board a little bit and put some more at the D-board if you really, really wanted to. Um, but trust me, I horse just fine, especially with that takeover, y'all. Here's the physicals. I went max vertical, y'all. 80 vertical. Super crucial, super key. Combined with that horse takeover, it boosts it up even more. But look, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. I've been dropping daily videos. I've been going crazy for y'all. I appreciate every single one of y'all that shows love, man. You guys have been showing me crazy love lately. You guys can see the shades. Jack Sigma, Yusuf Nurkic, Nikola Vucevic. This is a playmaking defensive anchor. Hope you guys have a blessed rest of your day. Peace.